What if I told you that these noodles change colors without any food coloring? That's right, with science and food, we can do crazy things, and today I'm going to show you how to make these magic unicorn noodles at home. So kids, grab a responsible adult and let's get started. Have an adult quarter and wash a head of red cabbage. Then slice the cabbage into small shreds. Next, fill a pot about halfway full of water and add salt to taste. Then set the pot on the stove and turn it to around medium heat. Add the cut cabbage to the water and then bring this mixture to a steady boil. As the mixture boils, it will become a dark purple color. This is because the cabbage contains a water-soluble pigment called anthocyanin, which is a natural pH indicator. This will play a key role in our color-changing noodles later. When the color is to your liking, which for us took about 10 minutes, scoop the cabbage out of the water. Then add your rice noodles to the boiling water and cook until soft. When cooked, drain the noodles from the cabbage water and season. I mean, it has to taste good too. I seasoned them with butter and garlic powder. And now it's time for the color changing experiment. Add some noodles to another bowl and squeeze a slice of lemon over the noodles. Wow, like magic, the noodles have changed color from purple to pink. But how does this happen? Well, remember, we boiled the cabbage to add its pigment, anthocyanin, to the water we cooked our noodles in. Anthocyanin is a natural pH indicator, which changes colors when it reacts with acids and bases. The pigment turns pink if it reacts with an acid with a pH less than 7, and blue-green if it reacts with a base with a pH greater than 7. Lemon juice is an acidic substance. The primary acid in lemon juice is citric acid, and typically has a pH of 2 to 3. But what happens if we add a base? Well, a common base that we have in our houses is baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate. This will have a pH around 8 to 9, so if we mix some baking soda with water and sprinkle this over a bit of our noodles, it turns blue. Now this won't taste very good, so I don't recommend eating this, but the lemony noodles sure are tasty. If you want, you can even top these with yummy proteins and vegetables to round up the meal. So that's how you make magic unicorn noodles by applying our knowledge of acids, bases, and chemical reactions. Hope you have fun playing with food science and enjoy these tasty noodles.